Greetings, welcome to Bolt Pirate Trader. I'm your instructor, Greg Moss. This is an exciting course. I've created two other Bolt courses. One is a life simulator game in Bolt, and the other is an idle tycoon game in Bolt. This one's a pirate trading game that's much like uh, Taipan from 1982. It's a very fun, kind of simple game in which you trade uh, between cities products at different prices and encounter pirates that create a gameplay that allows the, the game to go on and have a pretty good replayability so we're gonna start right away like we always do and you can see here we've got our project name pirate trader bolt and we're gonna use the 2d template for this game and click create project just like that, the Unity Editor opens. We have our sample scene here. And like my other courses, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail in the Unity Editor. This is about building a pirate game in Bolt. And I'm going to assume that with the zillion other videos out there, that you can find out the intricacies of any of the Unity Editor stuff that I don't cover. So what we're going to do right away is install Bolt. If you've already got Bolt installed, you can of course skip this part. So I'm going to open up the Unity package and install Bolt right now. After the package is opened and it unpacks everything that it really needs to start the installation, you'll get an import dialog up here and just click import on that. Once that phase of the installation is complete, then it's going to prompt you to make a backup. Well, this is a new project. We don't have to make a backup, so we just tell it we made a backup. Now we're at the Bolt Setup Wizard. We're going to click Next. I always use program naming. I just highly encourage that. And then we click Generate Inspectors. It gives us our assembly options here, and then we just click Next. And we have our type options here. Just scroll to the bottom, click Generate. This will take a little bit. And just like that, our setup is complete, finished, and just close this dialog box. And you can see in our console here, it says it's finished updating scripts and assemblies. I like to just click this clear, make sure there's no errors, and I'll even run the project, even with no new objects and nothing but the bolt installation, just to make sure nothing funny is going on. Now, if we come up in, under Window, we can start laying out how we want our interface to look, work here. If we drag this, like, if we click on Graph here, we can drag it and put it here. And so this is where our flow graphs will appear. And the other window I like to have available is the Graph Inspector. And I'll put that. Uh, you have to click it, then you can click and drag it and just put it down here. So that's just kind of how I do the layout. It, I'm still not real extremely satisfied with it. I end up working a lot of times down here in this small area when I probably should be working uh, more maximized like that. But with that, I'm going to end this lecture. We're set up. We're ready to go. We know that we've successfully installed Bolt because we can see all uh, the, the windows here that it's going to use when we're actually building the game. So we're going to get started in the next lecture, setting up a really basic interface and our very first flow graph.